have to start this with an apology. Yes, Nova, I know. The person who sent me this ribbon, I've looked everywhere. I did have a screenshot of you offering it to me and the actual trade itself. I had the video for, but these files seem to have been lost in, let's just call it the purge of late 2017. So massive thank you to the person, but unfortunately I just cannot remember their username. And this was one of the last ones I actually accepted before my Riven hit max capacity. I actually run this Riven, which is, I already have. There's is the Bratton Visidex or whatever it is in the bottom left there. I've loved this Riven. It made this gun come back to life for me. The added punch through, the added damage, the extra magazine capacity. It went from 70 something, 75 to 107. So it does more damage. It shoots through enemies and it's got a bigger magazine so you're reloading less. Then the Zenith came out and I put my Bratton back on the gun rack, which to be fair, I really hope they bring in the gun rack. Really want a gun rack. But this, I have to now choose. Do I leave it in here or, come on, do I put in the new one? The first way, or the best way to test, and I'll just knock this guy off the edge, is going to be to simply just open fire and see how long it takes me to kill an enemy. So the only problem is, and I will just kind of aim for, that was a bit lower the chest, see how long this takes this is two magazines in so this is technically the third magazine that's nearly three full magazines oh wow the reason for trying the ribbon is technically it is more damage more importantly it is more status wow that is actually hitting for way more that's 75 rounds um Okay, I didn't think it was going to do that. I honestly expected it to take more magazines because 107 per mag versus 75. And the other one took nearly three whole mags. This took two. Actually, <laughs> one and just over a half. Okay, so that, let's try that again. Yeah, about the same. So it was hitting for 30s, then some 70s. It should, in theory, do it by the end of this magazine. Maybe a few rounds in the next one. That's better. It just depends if how many crits it gets. And that's about where I would expect it. A little over two. Because it's doing more damage, it should take a little bit less magazine-wise. But considering how big they are, well... Yeah... This is definitely better than I was hoping this was going to be. But of course, since the recording of this, update 22.12 brought all the changes, which means the Bratton Prime is now a mastery rank 8 weapon. It now has a... Tw it says... Uh, no, 26. It was 20%. And the crit chance is now 12, which is making me think more about how I have this thing set up, but doesn't affect the fact that this ribbon is just better than the one I had on yet sadly. Throwing mine back in, the other one would have to be range. How accurate is it at range? Well, and I don't want them to move hence I stopped shooting. Aiming kind of at the head, it is doing a lot of damage to the one behind it. Though the easier way would just be to kind of shoot a wall and see you can see where I'm aiming, if I aim where these two white lines here meet. Yeah, that is a lot of recoil. That is an insane amount of recoil, actually. And by the time I get back, you could barely see it there, but it was still there. Putting the other Riven in and opening fire. Well, this is what I meant by there's not that much difference recoil-wise. It definitely made the grouping much closer together but the stray bullets are still there around the edge so shooting this one you're still gonna hit the one behind it though to be fair I can't really see any of the other ones to hit from this kind of range because there's pillars in the way if I aim for you huh 
It's not actually touching the one behind. Okay, the punch through of the other one meant that it would have. There you go. I actually managed to finally hit the one behind. Just ever so slightly. So, that's kind of an easy conclusion here. Um, considering that's a level 155 enemy, and it just almost one and a bit magged it. Yeah. Actually aiming for the head, this should do way more damage anyway, because headshots are crit shots. And having the higher status, this is also going to do a lot more damage. This guy's about to take a crit, step backwards and fall off. No, actually just died. Again, there's that same number in the magazine. 32 left, that's a mag and a half of smaller magazine capacities. And just out of curiosity, has it made it as powerful as my zenith? Well, oh, it helps if I actually aim, I was looking at the magazine. You're off the edge. I think it actually did, yes, because this is doing way less damage. Some of the crits are doing more damage, but everything else, and you're off the edge. Which it did anyway, by the way. My zenith is not that powerful, but it, I just happen to like the zenith a lot more. And there go the big hits there. And it's dead. It will still take them out, but it still takes them out a little bit slower than the Bratton itself does, so... I think I'm still going to stick with this for now. Oh, come on. Do it in the mag. Do it in the mag. Oh, you moved. Ha! Nope. I think I'll stick with the Zenith. Still not an insane amount of damage, but for day-to-day -day use, it is a very fun, still very useful weapon. Anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.